I think the wearables that we've been doing over the last couple of years are mostly ugly and mostly things that people don't want to wear. And so we're seeing all of these interesting partnerships come together with brands that people love and trust, a lot of Italian brands that have distribution and technology companies that make the ingredients to make the your purse or your umbrella or your jewelry smarter. So I think for me that's sort of the, the right marriage between business and design. I think the interface with t between people and technology is a huge differentiator when it comes to buying almost anything. I recently got a new heating and air conditioning system for my house, and they were going to install something that was the recommended one, but I asked if it would work with my Nest thermostat, and the answer was, no, 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 you have to get a new thermostat. And I said, forget it. Like, I want something, I like the design of that, that's what I want to project on my on my home wall, and so I insisted that the, that the infrastructure work with my existing Nest thermostat. How do you take the digital information and make physical shadows adjacent to all the products that you use every day? Like we worked for Bank of America and we made a wallet that would know what your credit card spending is and the wallet becomes harder ah, to get open as you blow through your monthly budget. So that's a way of taking the information that's online, the analytics that are online and reprojecting it back into an ordinary gesture, a touch-based, a haptic gesture. 